everyone, welcome back. I know that it has been a while. It's been a week since I posted a video and I'm sorry about that. Things have been a little bit busy around here. We've just been doing some stuff around the house and I haven't had a chance to sit down and film, but I've got a few minutes right now and I figured I would go ahead and do my weekly best and bust. Um, so, I actually don't have a bust this week, so I'm going to talk about two favorites. And the first product that I wanted to talk about is this NYX lipstick. This is in the color Pops, and this is their Butter Lipstick. And this is just a really nice um, kind of neutral color, and it kind of goes along with the whole 90s lip thing um, that's, you know, in right now. I really like this color and I've worn it quite a bit and I've been enjoying it so I just wanted to mention it. My next favorite is actually really great. Um, this is a new product for me. This is the Fizoderm Deep Clean Cream Cleanser. So this is what the bottle looks like and I picked mine up at Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, it was just under five dollars and it is just a cleanser. It is. It has skin balancing technology. Uh, it cleanses and purifies for fresh, radiant, balanced skin. It is soap, alcohol, and dye free. So, I picked this up last week, maybe something like that. Um, for Black Friday, Sephora offered the big purity cleanser for ten dollars, and I bought one last year. Really loved it. I wanted to get one again this year. I didn't actually make it out on Black Friday, um, but I did try and purchase it online, and I got up really early on Saturday, well not super early, but I was up pretty early on Saturday morning, got on the Sephora website, I found the cleanser, it was still there, put it in my cart, I was shopping around online seeing if there was anything else I wanted to get, and I was like, let's just get this for now, and when I went to check out, it wasn't available. So in the few minutes where I put it in my cart and then I went to check out, it sold out. And I was so disappointed because I really do like that cleanser and you know getting that big bottle for ten dollars is a really great deal. So I was kind of bummed I missed out and so I decided to do a little Google search and see if there was anything else that I could try and kind of have be comparable. And so this product came up um, as kind of a dupe for the purity cleanser and I remember seeing this in Bed Bath & Beyond and so I went over one day and picked it up. Like I said, it's just under five dollars and I have to say I really like it. I don't have the purity cleanser right now um, but from what I remember they're pretty similar. I would say this is a little bit thicker than that one um, and just to... I hope I don't make a mess here. But, so when you pull the thing out, I mean, it's it's dripping. I mean, it's not actually dripping, but you know what I mean. It's not like super thick where it's not going to drip off. So this is a little bit thicker, I would say, than the Purity Cleanser, but it's pretty similar. Um, I'm seeing if this one has a scent. It does have a scent. It's just kind of a light, fresh scent. Um, so anyway... I really like this. I think it's very comparable to the cleanser, to the purity cleanser. It kind of gives you that same feel. Um, I just use it at night when I wash my face. Uh, I pump some in my hand, kind of rub it together. It doesn't like lather up a whole lot, but it, it does a little bit. It's not like a straight cream that just doesn't do anything. So, so far I've been really impressed with it. I think that it's just a nice gentle everyday cleanser um, and it's really inexpensive and so far I really like it. I don't know where you can buy this besides Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll have to keep my eye out and see if I see it anywhere else because I don't know where they sell it. Um, if you know, leave a comment and let us know because I'm kind of curious. But I've really been enjoying it and I wanted to mention that. So. Those have been my favorites for the week. Like I said, it's been kind of a crazy week here. Um, so I'm hoping to get back into a regular schedule next week with filming and things like that. Um, also, if you guys have any requests for videos, please let me know because I am always trying to think of new ideas. Um, I'm kind of thinking ahead to the new year and just planning out things for my channel and, and different types of videos that I want to do, um, maybe branching off 
from just makeup and going into some other things, maybe starting to do some grocery hauls because I really love watching grocery hauls. Um, maybe some vlogs every now and again. Um, it's not something that I want to be serious about, but I think doing some kind of vlog every once in a while would be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to think of different video ideas that I can do, and um, of course I'm going to be doing Pan That Palette. Uh, I think I'm going to do the 7 by Spring Project Pan. Um, so anyway, I'm just trying to like get a jump on all of that. Um, and then of course I will finish my 6 by Christmas tag that will be updated um, in a few weeks. I'm going to have an empties video soon. I'm trying to think what else. Maybe some kind of year-end favorites? I don't know. So if you guys have any suggestions or requests or anything you want to see, please let me know because I'm always looking for new ideas and um, I just want to be consistent with my videos and um, make videos that you guys want to see. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!